All right, Shimanko everyone. So today we're going to be talking about how to turn your Android phone into a mouse or a trackpad for your iPad Pro. Uh, so you can't do it with the iPhone. You can't turn your iPhone into a trackpad, but if you have an Android phone, you can definitely turn it into a trackpad. And guys, please stick around till the end of this video because at the end, I'm going to show you a cool feature that this app has. All right, so let's get into it. So all you have to type in is serverless, serverless mouse, okay? And now you will have two options, the blue one and the red one. And basically the blue one is the free option and the red one is the paid option. So I already purchased this one and it's only like one, one dollar. So I'm gonna just use this one because it basically has everything that this has, but a few more features. So I'll install it. And if you don't wanna pay it for the full version, just get the blue one, the one that is free. So, yep. So now this is gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you to connect a new device. So click here on add device and you will see iPad or whatever the name of your iPad is, new device. And then it's going to show you, take the device you want to control and go to the Bluetooth settings. So let me go here and Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings. And you will see that my phone pops up. So I click on this and it's connected. Bluetooth pairing request pair with da 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 da. Okay. Okay. And then on your iPad pair. All right, so pairing was successful. Sometimes this not might work the first time, so you might have to disconnect the device a few times. And uh, yeah, eventually it should work though. And make sure that all of your devices are updated to the newest software. Uh, so use this device. And now let's see if it actually works. So as you can see, I am controlling the iPad with my Android phone. Um, so, Fairly simple, it's moving, okay. So yeah, one tap is to go into an app and two finger tap is to basically show the options. So it's like one tap is the left click and then the two, uh, two finger tap is the right click. So it's really, really simple. Also with the pro app, the reason why I got it is because you can also use your mouse as an air mouse. So if you go to, nope, hold on, to air mouse, and you can see it's actually working, right? Yeah. And for some reason it disconnected. So let's connect it one more time. Yeah, so you know this app is not perfect. All right, so it's fine again, <clears throat> but yeah, it might not work a few times or you might have to fix some stuff. But again, the pro app, get back to that. It has the air mouse, good for presentations. It also has media controls. So as you can see here, volume and mute, play, pause. If you're listening to music or watching something, uh, mouse buttons, this is cool because you got like the right click and the left click. And also you got some navigation buttons. Yeah, so back home menu. These are really useful because it's really hard to use this and uh, go back and forth between the home screen. So you got some options here that make this a lot easier. And you also have a dark mode. I use it all the time. And you can also do it full screen. So you just basically have a full trackpad and let's see if there's more options um, screen settings okay mouse settings this is cool because you can increase the speed of the cursor and also increase the scroll speed and invert the scroll directions also and also uh, when you click it or tap it you know it reacts as a mouse click so you can change that if you want and then last thing I want to show you, the most important thing I think, 
Uh, and the best thing about this app, so if you go to full screen, one sec, let me just turn this off. If you flip your phone, ta -ta -ta, ta -da -da, and again, maybe do full screen, you basically have a full trackpad in a landscape mode. And this is like a legit trackpad because literally you would spend maybe a hundred dollars for like a really good trackpad when you can just use your phone and it will literally replace the trackpad. So this is really useful and I use it like this obviously because it's much more native to me and much more comfortable. And yeah, basically that's all I wanted to show you. And also if you want this to happen, make sure that the rotation is on. And yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Hopefully this is useful for you and you can start using it. So yeah, see ya. If you liked this video and it helped you out, then I would appreciate if you left a like because it helps my channel and helps me make videos like these.